this time, I invite the children of the congregation to come forward for the children's message. Good morning, boys and girls. We are talking about sheep and shepherds today. How many of you know what a sheep is? Right? They're fluffy, right? And shepherd, you guys have heard of shepherds, right? They take, they take care of sheep. Now, normally, we talk about what a good shepherd does, but today the topic is a little different. Can you tell me what a bad shepherd would do? Tessa, what do you think? Let the sheep go. That's good. What else would a bad shepherd do, Emmy? Not watch over the sheep. True. What else would a bad shepherd do? Yeah. Treat them harshly. Good. Anything else? Yeah. Not give them food and enough water. Those are all descriptions of bad shepherds. That's right. Now, you don't want to think about it, but sometimes, even today, there are bad shepherds. And there's bad shepherds that take care of their sheep. And there's also bad shepherds that take care of churches, too. Because sometimes we talk about pastors as shepherds. And sometimes there's pastors that tell their congregation things that aren't in God's Word. <clears throat> Maybe they mean well, but they tell them the wrong things. Because does it matter if a pastor's trying his best, if a shepherd's trying his best, but he still gives the sheep bad food? If he still lets them fall down a cliff? I know, it'd be terrible. That guy's still a bad shepherd. Can we Hold our hands and talk to the Good Shepherd here for a second. Good Shepherd, help pastors everywhere to take care of their churches. Help them to tell them only what's in your Bible. Help them to always tell them that you love your sheep and to never tell them any lies. In your holy name we pray. Amen. You're excused to go back and sit with your parents. 